everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Nabivalol. Its brand name is Bistolic. Now before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So Nabivalol is a long-acting cardioselective beta blocker. It blocks beta-1 adrenoreceptors. In terms of indications for use, nabivalol is indicated to be used in the treatment of hypertension or high blood pressure. And as an off-label indication, it can be used to treat congestive heart failure, as well as it can be used prophylactically for migraines. Now before somebody was to use nabivalol, there are some contraindications that they must clear, as well as some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. If a patient had a hypersensitivity to nabivalol or any other component of the product, they would not be able to use this medication. This medication cannot be used in patients who have second or third degree heart block. Patients with severe hepatic or liver impairment cannot use nabivalol. And it can't be used in patients who have cardiogenic shock or severe bradycardia. Now in terms of precautions, patients who have coronary artery disease who stop nabivalol abruptly may experience angina pectoris or chest pain or cause a myocardial infarction or heart attack. Therefore, the medication, when being stopped, should be stopped over the course of one to two weeks at minimum. The use of this medication is not recommended in patients who have bronchospastic diseases. It's also not recommended to use this medication with other beta blockers. Aside from beta blockers, this medication should also not be used with calcium channel blockers as it may affect the heart rate or rhythm. In diabetes, this medication may mask signs of hypoglycemia, such as tachycardia or a rapid heart rate. And there would be an increased risk of toxicity in patients who have severe renal or kidney impairment. Now, once somebody is cleared of the contraindications and made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they start to use nabivalol, they can expect to receive their dose orally. If somebody is using nabivalol to treat hypertension or high blood pressure, they would typically start off with a dose of 5 milligrams taken once daily with or without food. The dose can then be increased in two-week intervals all the way up to 40 milligrams daily. In congestive heart failure, they may start with 1.25 milligrams and increase the dose up to 10 milligrams per day. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using nabivalol, so we'll go over some of those here now. 1 to 3% of patients may experience nausea, up to 4% may experience dizziness, and up to 9% may experience a headache. Some patients may also experience somnolence as well. Some more rare but serious side effects would be angina pectoris or chest pain, a myocardial infarction or a heart attack, as well as ventricular arrhythmia. That's all we're going to talk about today with nabivalol or bistolic. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch all my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.